Welcome back to Last Digit. Today we're going to use 3D Scanner app on the iPhone 12 Pro to scan in 3D my car into my phone. So what I want to do with this is try it with augmented reality and then even push it further and see if I can get it to 3D print or if it's good enough to 3D print. So the first thing you do, you open it, you set it to object and then you set the distance. So I went with four meters and then you just do a walk around. So it's already capable of knowing where you are in space. So all you have to do is just walk around, make sure you go up and down because the first time I scanned it actually didn't go up over the roof like this. So the top uh, of the model was empty. So I'm just going to go around and as you can see, it has a little bit of an issue with the windows. So there's going to be some gaps there for sure in the model. The rims also, the details of the rims are not coming through. And the rest is uh, doing pretty well so far. So even though it's showing with a like a heat map right now, uh, it will save the way the textures look. So when you do finish and get the model, you will have the details and colors um, of your car or object. So you can stop it when you think you're done and it processes and saves for a little bit and then you can view it in 3D here. So I think it looks really good in color. Uh, the only issue is the windows do look shattered so it looks like someone broke into my car but it's just I think the lidar not able to see the glass. So what I did next is I went into augmented reality mode and I tried to place it next to my car. So I wanted to see how lifelike, realistic, and how well it was able to compare the sizes of the, you know, the model that I scanned in versus reality. And to me, it looks almost spot on. So, you know, considering it's not as shiny and the windows look broken, it looks like a weird um, fake version of my car made out of cardboard or something like that. But overall you know, for something that you're able to share with friends over iMessage, uh, it's actually really cool. So what I did is I used the, the built-in viewer, and this is very similar to when you share an iMessage, this viewer from this app, so you're able to just directly take photos. And, you know, it does look better in the kind of model viewer here versus when you put it in reality next to the real object but when you click share you can share an AR with iMessage and the model that goes to iMessage you just click it from the chat and it brings you here to this window so you could just place now your car inside of your house if you're home um, or your friends could place whatever object you scanned in their uh, area. So the next thing I did I went back to my computer I filed up Ultimaker Cura and I wanted to see if I could 3D print it or if the model was good enough so the first thing I had to do was look at the STL. So as you can see here, without colors, it's not very attractive and there are a lot of holes in it. So it might be okay, it might not. Let's see how it slices. So when I bring it here, the first thing I had to do was scale it. So I had to make it a, a lot bigger from um, the initial or whatever dimensions were saved in the STL. So once I grow it, I can see that it's also sitting sideways, so I have to rotate it. And then once it's sitting flat, what we can do is slice it. And so once we slice it and we preview it, we'll see it takes around two hours to print something like this. And the reason it would take so long is because it's not really doing the correct um, amount of fill as, as I would like. So if you can see here, what it would print is kind of a, a round version of my car with missing windows and partially missing wheels so this is definitely not something I want to print but I will give it a try with other objects and see what I can do there. So I hope you enjoyed this and be sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to see.